to the channel. Um, we are excited that we are able to connect to all our alumni and uh, right, bring them to you and share their experiences. And this this is a platform where I also get opportunity to connect with all my uh, right uh, uh, alumni, my students. Right, it brings up uh, right a very very warm uh, feeling. So, thank you, Ayush. Yes, sir, thanks for joining the call. And uh, I know it's late, but yeah, it's never no late, problem. right? <laughs> no problem. We are IT guy. Just our work is finished. That's right. That's right. We are IT people, so we are always awake. Yeah. So, wonderful. So Ayush, I would want you to uh, basically um, right explain about your experience. Uh, what was your education uh, uh, before becoming a data, uh, right? Uh, getting into the data uh, related job roles. Where are you currently working with, uh, working and what kind of projects you're working with? Um, just share your experiences. Okay, first of all, I come, okay, my name is Aishwara. First of all, I completed my graduation in 2019 from BTEC in mechanical branch. Just uh, in my experience, just like 10 months work in the startup as a role of category sales manager, but I don't like the role. Then after I take a six months career, career break, and then I see searching a job in IT field, just I search in the web, uh, in web technologies, uh, in, in browser, just I go for the 360 digit MG. And then I think about take a data science or not. I thinking about that, but definitely then I take a decision for choose a data science course. It is a three months course. It is a nice course and journey is awesome. We take a different challenges, assignments to the, and after completing the three months assignment that time, I know I, have, I don't have a job, nothing. I am just uh, jobless that time. But then I get an opportunity to 360 MG in your know, data work as an inter internship. Then I started internship, internship working under the Sarat sir, and uh, I, me and uh, Risha is uh, both are we friends. I just yet we are in con connect with the connect also. Just in the group, uh, the nothing work is come like a web technology, HTML, every work we are ready to do that. We have to learn everything. In this in this in internship, I know that we have to learn everything, and we just this learning thing is also happening in in in, in today's also. And we learn everything. We do the all the things. Just currently, I am working as a senior software engineer in Capgemini. In Capgemini, I joined as an analyst. Uh, currently, I am working as a performance engineer, performance testing engineer. Where I my role is to do. Where my role is a performance engineer to check the data of performance. What is the performance of doing? What is the data is server is taking a load or not? How much is bear the load? Currently, I am working as a financial domain and just it's all about for me. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So there's a very big transition. You said you're coming from mechanical background, right? So audience, please uh, focus on this. So Ayesh is coming from mechanical engineering background. Now he is working in finance domain and his core work is to see how is the instance or, or the machines performing on the business data when some kind of analytics work is happening. This is performance tuning basically, right? So he would be able to experiment on which algorithms are basically uh, performing well on the given hardware. So they're, they're setting the benchmark uh, to look at the load that each machine is taking that way, they will also be able to optimize the entire training process when we are building machine learning models as well. Yeah. Right? So yeah. yeah. Great transition. Wonderful uh, to hear that. Right. Huge transformation that you are you have made. Yeah. Very yes. Helpful. I think I'll just only one thing say that if you are in learning mode now, if nothing is nothing is you have to only have to check and learn. If you get the opportunity, you have to grab it. Just I, work, I just I work as an intern as a three you know, I am ready to work anything. Means uh, it is a web HTML. I do the HTML. I design the web page also in Python. Everything which task is assigned, we are ready to do that. And this is the most important thing in thing to we have to learn learn these things. Exactly, exactly. Every day it is a learning. Every day there is new technology coming in. So we will have to have the mindset to ensure that. We tune ourselves to learn new things and then do it. So learn on the job. That's yeah. very essential point. Well said, Ayush. 
Um, I also want to ask Ayush and um, I, what kind of experience um, or what kind of questions were asked in your interview when, when you faced your interviews? How did you prepare for those questions? How did you answer those questions? What is that interviewer specifically looking uh, in the answers that, that are coming from, from you? First of all, it is questions when I giving starting giving the interviews. Uh, the first of all, Cap Jamie has taken me a three rounds. Uh, first three, uh, it, no, it's five rounds. Uh, first round is uh, like an assessment test is give me to the, my link. I have to complete the ass ass assessment, and then after one is a technical round. Then one is a manager manager round. Third one is that uh, uh, HR round. In assessment questions, this is benefit for me because in the 360 in analytics in Saturday, uh, Saturday or Sunday, I taking the weekend classes for Python. I teach generally I teach them and see how basic coding coding are there. They really help me a lot, help me. Because when I doing the assignment, now these are easy for me because I already every time I learning this mode and just then I work well, in you know, one and a half hours, then I selected. In the my first question is the cab is starting the, from the technical HR ask me what is the first question is why you are changed the domain or uh, just I have mechanical background and just like coming in the IT field. The first question is that why you are want to give change to the IT field. It is a most important question. If you are fresher or if you're other branch, uh, be, be prepared for these questions. Second is basic question is, uh, is asking what is data mining? What is NLP? And what is NLP? What is data mining? Uh, generally, the questions are if we are prepared that the data science in 360 MG and they are preparing the interview questions. Um, I don't know how clear about it, but in our times, we are preparing the interview questions, we're searching in the internet and we preparing the Excel sheets. Uh, just if these are going or not, I don't know. Uh, but these are really help us. Uh, what is BERT? What is what? Uh, what is BERT? What is an LP? What is data mining? Uh, basically, you can prepare the questions from Python and SQL because most of the industry, you know, today in days, I'm also taking the some interviews in our team also. But we are focusing on not focusing on data science questions. We are focusing on Python and what is SQL because in Python and SQL have knowledge, you can easily work in the data science field. Because as a performance engineer right now, I am working as a performance engineer, but my tool is changed. I was working on load runner tool and this I don't know about it, but I learned that these things and just we are checking the servers, loads and everything. So here, first of all, you have to basic is a Python and SQL and nothing is much more. If you command as a Python and SQL, you can do anything. Exactly. Like you said, Ayush, data is always stored in some database software which can be manipulated or, or queried using SQL language. And then of course you will have Python for any sort of processing. So if you're familiar with these two, then I think you would be able to implement any logic that you're talking about in the space of uh, analytics. You will be able to develop that practically, right? So yes, that's that's 100% well said. These two are very important and very essential and practices mandatory. Most most important I said that. Yeah. Any, any language you'll have to practice, right? Unless until you do practice, you cannot excel it. So you'll have to constantly practice. Yeah, sir. Because really it's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot. Because in this, I in this interview sessions, I tell that I also work in the web page HTML. They ask me the questions for about HTML, CSS, and we, I work on the Django also for a backend. We could bring the attendance sheet that's also I asked me. And basically, now the, if everyone is a technical manager or technical thing, now everyone has a knowledge of Python, SQL, but they want something different from other. Just like I have also Python and SQL knowledge, but he wants a candidate who's have multiple multiple tasks and do he can ask the, to give the task and he, we have to do that. That that is the most important thing. I say that. Yeah. That's that's correct, right? The so mindset is very important. It's yeah. not just. Uh, Right? technology or technical capabilities it's all about the attitude and mindset that that we need to have yeah yeah wonderful uh, Ayush, thank you so much and uh right um i would not want you to uh right uh right and one thing uh, sir, one thing i'm also add on that uh which is a technical <laughs> Technical manager around uh, be, be genuine, genuine. 
I don't have to t- tell anything live because by experience, I'm currently taking an interview also, sir. So just a candidate is the uh, say that I am doing this, 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 and we just to be uh, ask the questions now. They don't give the answers. Uh, they just like a uh, silent in the interview. But don't tell the lie. But you have to say that you don't know. You have to say that, sir. I am ready to learn and things I implement it simply. If you tell the lie, it's difficult to uh, in future career. You take you take a job, but uh, in future you do not grow. That's right. That's absolutely right. I mean, whatever you know, you'll have to sell that, right? Obviously, and uh, interviewers are not just there. They they have much more experience, industry experience, and they know. who lies and who does not lie so we have to be also careful in and ensuring that we genuinely put the effort to clear the interview yeah sir wonderful ayush thank you so much for uh, taking time out and connecting with me and uh, right uh, sharing your views to our participants um yeah, yeah thank you so much very happy to see you it is and, my pleasure uh, giving guidance to uh, Uh, yeah, our junior which coming in IT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's something that we have to do because we yeah. have more experience, so we should support them. Yeah, yeah, sir. Thank you, thank you for that gesture, and thank you so much. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll we'll directly meet sometime. Come down to the office, and we will we'll connect. Thank yes, you so yes, much. Yes, sir.